welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. And thank you guys so much for your patience. I know it's been a couple weeks since I uploaded my last video, which was my coffee chat video. Again, thank you guys so much for submitting those questions. And again, thank you guys so much for your patience. These essays and these applications have been so, so much. So I'm excited to get back to you guys, be caffeinated, and be ready to try out some more amazing coffee pods with my Nespresso machine. So today, we're gonna be doing a third party brand because I know some of you, especially in the last video, were wondering what third party pods you guys might be interested in or wanna try. So I am gonna try out for you guys in a plain taste test, the Compass coffee pods. So a little bit of background about these pods is that TJ and I actually got them when we went to DC to visit some family a couple months ago. And they were at one of these local Compass coffee cafes. And to my knowledge, I believe the Compass cafes for serving Compass coffee and the coffee pods are only in the DMV area. So that's where I've seen them. However, you can get them online and I can put their link below to get any of the coffee pods we talk about. I believe they also do K-Cups as well. So if you are a Keurig lover and you haven't been watching my videos, then you are also welcome to get those K-Cups as well. So while I was at the shop, I got literally any pod that they had in the store. And I believe these are the only ones they have. Now, the pods that they have are only original line Nespresso compatible. So if you're a Virtuo lover or a Virtuo haver, then these pods are unfortunately not for you. And this third party review probably won't be that helpful. However, if you are an original line lover or have an original line machine, you are able to try out these pods. And I believe these are the only four that they offer in the original line. Um, but I can put any extras that I see on their website down below. But I think I only saw four. So the four I'll be taste testing for you guys today is the Emblem Espresso, which is like their main general espresso that they would use. And then they also have the Waypoint, which I believe is supposed to be just a smidge darker. And then they have, of course, the French Roast, which is the darkest and then the decaf, which, you know, decaf, you know I'm a caffeinated gal, okay? I need to stay caffeinated almost at all times, at least during the daylight and sunlight hours. So this has been good like for a little nightcap if I'm feeling like I desperately need the taste of coffee but don't want the caffeine. So it doesn't seem like they have any super, super light espresso capsules. However, you are more than welcome to buy any of their other like pre-ground coffee, their beans, their cold brew packets, I believe they have as well. So they offer so many different coffee products. I highly encourage you guys to just check them out and see, and we'll evaluate the pros and cons of the taste test and the company at the end of this video. But I did wanna go ahead and start trying these pots for y'all. So why don't we start off with their basic emblem espresso. Okay, for one, the crema, absolutely beautiful. The smell, divine, to say the very least. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit more classic, a little bit more caramelly, tasting, and rich. So let's give it a taste, because the smell smells exactly like that. Wow, that is so good. And rarely do I ever say that about just a plain espresso shot like this. Like y'all already know, I'm, I'm not one to pull back coffee shots like this, you know what I mean? But I do think that this is just like, it's caramelly, it's rich, just like they're talking about, somewhat honey-like as well. I don't think it's too floral or anything along the lines, but the acidity, the bitterness, and the roastiness of this pod are just so balanced and so yummy. And it has so much body, it's just great. I, I'm i obsessed with it. I have had this in lattes and such, but I've yet to taste it just plain like this. And I regret not doing so because I was doing a real disservice to this coffee. I think it actually tastes really, really good. So I think this is like a 9.8 out of 10, y'all. I rarely ever think that espresso shots are this good. But this one has so far, I mean, I'm, I'm setting myself up for failure because I don't know what these other ones are going to taste like plain, but I do think that these, this is a really good one. Definitely setting my sights high for the rest of this company's pod. So let's, let's, let's try the, let's try the Waypoint one next. So again, this one's supposed to be the darker roasted one, and it's supposed to have very cacao taste and some hints of brown sugar in it. So we'll see. It sounds yummy, but you guys already know how I feel about dark roasted coffee, which is why I'm kind of afraid for this one in the French roast. But let's let's give it a taste. 
taste. But I mean, off smell though, it doesn't smell, I mean, it kind of smells like brown sugar, but it's not, the smell isn't really there for me. Like it's not super aromatic, super fragrant in any sort of way. So I definitely get the bitterness of the cacao in there, and I do think that it's a very full-bodied espresso. However, I don't think that this is a punch in the face, which, again, I'm very pleasantly surprised about because, again, this is supposed to be a little bit more darker roasted, and so I was kind of afraid. But, I mean, obviously, I've drank, like, half of it already, so it's really, it's, it's nice. It's a little bit more of a kick than the last one, but in a good way. So if you're really wanting something to shine through, um, in very sweet lattes, I would definitely go with the Waypoint Pod. Um, I think I think it tastes really yummy. I also think that this would be very on par with like a brown sugar shake and espresso. I think that would be really good with this as well. Or even a chocolate almond milk one. I think the bitterness of the cacao taste in this pod would complement that sort of palette very, very well. So I really like it. I do think I like the first one the most, but I do think that you can't go wrong with either of these pods in an everyday latte, so to speak. With that being said, I think I'm going to rate this a 9 out of 10. I don't think that, you know, it's a bad pod whatsoever. Obviously, I really like it. I rated it a 9. Um, do I think it's like that special to the point that I would buy it again? Probably not. I feel like there are some Nespresso pods that kind of like resemble this, like even like Capriccio, maybe like, I feel like Corto is definitely, I guess, on par with this. I think Capriccio and Corti, I believe it is, are very light roasted, so it's not very comparable to this, but I do think that maybe like Corto is a little bit darker roasted. I don't know about Sakuro, but I, I do think all of those kind of match this sort of feel where it's not super like aromatic, not super tasting in one direction of like hazelnut or herbal or floral or any sort of way. I think this can be paired with a lot of different syrups and milks to the point that um, it will still shine through as a nice tasting coffee, but it's not going to overpower, you know, the stuff that you put in it. So I, I think it's good. Do I think that I have to specifically go to Compass to get a nice cup of coffee like this? No. The other one I will say I'm very pleasantly surprised by, and I probably would get another sleeve of it later on down the road. So that is that is my rating of this pod. Still a very good pod, 9 out of 10. Still think you should go out and get it if you want to, but just don't think I really need to buy it again, if that makes sense. So the next one I'm going to try in the last caffeinated one is going to be the French roast, okay? Again, very scared. Usually I hate French roasted coffee, but we're in this together, okay? I care about you guys so much that I'm going to do it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so right off the bat, the crema on this, absolutely yummy looking. The dark, I mean, this looks even darker than the other ones, which no surprise there, it's French roast. But I do think like the smell, even though it's supposed to be very like, rich and tense and bitter. I think the smell kind of tastes caramelly and kind of inviting, which is nice. So let's let's give it a taste. Okay. So it kind of has the the pungent acidity that maybe the Espirazone in Nespresso has in the aftertaste, but I really don't see that much of a difference between this one and the Waypoint one that I just tried, which again, I'm, I'm kind of expecting the quality to be a little bit different. I, I think that these beans kind of taste the same. Like I definitely get that kick in the back, but for something French roasted, I thought it would just be a little bit more like, whoa, like in your face, kick in the face type of thing. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Maybe I'm just crazy. Anyway, so with that being said, I don't think I need to buy this pod again. I'm not super impressed with it, to be quite frank with y'all. Um, I don't think it's a bad pod, but I just think that I really like the first one. That one was super yummy. So I think I'm going to rate this like a 7.5 out of 10. I, I'm not super impressed by it. I do think it tastes darker roasted. So I think that they got that pretty okay. I have no doubt that it is a dark roast. I just thought it would be almost like burnt. <laughs> and I'm not really getting that, you know, taste or profile from it, except for maybe a little bit in the aftertaste. But I do think it's a it's a yummy pod and I don't think it's too intimidating. Like obviously I drink 
basically half of it without like wincing too much. So that kind of tells you that um, if I like it and I'm okay drinking it, you guys will probably be okay drinking it and putting at least in, in a latte and stuff like that. I don't think it's like Eel Cafe or Diabolito or anything like that in espresso where you almost feel wired after drinking it and like you have to, you know, you can make a nice Vietnamese coffee out of it or anything like that. With that being said, it's probably because there's not, I mean, I didn't see anything like Robustas or anything in here, which probably explains why there's not like a super big kick to it. Um, but I think it's nice. I think it's good. I just wouldn't buy it again, to be quite frank. So 7.5, I think is a good rating for this pod. Okay. So the last one we have is a decaf pod. And again, you know, Take it as you will. I'm not, I usually don't go out of my way to buy decaf coffee like that. I think what I'm gonna start doing is like using my refillable kit to get like decaf espresso grounds or decaf coffee grounds and just using my refillable kit for that type of coffee because I just don't feel like spending extra money on decaf coffee, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, this will probably be one of the last decaf pods I actually buy, but I'm interested to see how it tastes plain. I have been really liking it with the uh with with my lattes and stuff at night so we'll we'll give it a taste give it a sniff and let me tell you guys how it is okay last pod and honestly i'm kind of grateful because i am feeling a little bit jittery a little bit wired okay i think it might have been the front rows i guess last time so let's give it a let's give it a sniff and a taste so I think this smells a little bit more burnt smelling than the other ones which i think is kind of natural when you're having a, a decaf coffee um, but it is supposed, according to the website anyway, this decaf is supposed to basically resemble the emblem one, the first one we tried, just decaffeinated, kind of like they have Fortado and then Espresso and then the decaf Fortado. They're basically supposed to taste the same, but one is decaffeinated. So uh, let's see how true the taste is to this one. I think it is still very easy to drink like the first one, but I don't think it has half the complexity. I definitely think in the processing, I don't know how they decaffeinate it. I know generally they might use like CO2 or something to decaffeinate beans um, as well as some other methods. I don't know what method they used for this, but I see that they really did try to like preserve it as much as possible. It's just definitely not the same in my opinion. Um, I don't think, I think the average person who isn't like really into tasting coffee probably won't taste the difference though. Um, Cause I, I honestly barely taste the difference, but I just noticed it's not super complex and a little bit more acidic than the first one. So take that as you will. I do think they did a fairly good job of trying to resemble the taste of the first one. And it's still very easy to drink, just a little bit more sour in the beginning, but Overall, for a decaf, I would have to rate this like an 8 out of 10. I don't think it's bad. Um, if I wanted to get a decaf espresso, I probably would go for this one. Maybe even like decaf voluto in espresso. But I think by far this has been one of my more favorites. I'm not really a big fan of the decaf aroma in the Nespresso original line. So, you know, kind of, kind of get, gauging my taste. I think that if you're a lighter tasting coffee for a decaf, you will enjoy this or like voluto or something like that if that makes sense. Okay, so let's talk pros and cons with these coffee pods versus like Nespresso, okay? So overall, all the opinions, much like I say in my other videos, are all gonna be mine. I'm not even an affiliate of Compass Coffees. I purely did this video because I had the pods already and because I did wanna share with you guys another third party line for people that don't have an espresso store nearby, don't wanna go through the problem of like ordering pods or just maybe wanna try stuff outside of Nespresso. So again, everything that I'm sharing with you guys is completely my opinion, not paid for by anybody else, not paid for by YouTube, Compass, um, or anybody else, just my own personal preferences and opinions. So with that being said, I do think that this is a really good third party company. I was thoroughly impressed with the taste of these pods in my general latte, but I have an even greater appreciation for them now after trying them plain like this, because rarely do I taste these type of third party pods and I'm just completely swept away by the quality of the pods. And so far, honestly guys, I think this is probably the best third party that I've tried in, in my complete, humble, honest, unprofessional opinion. And I think it's a couple reasons for that. One, the taste was just really good. 
Two, I don't think their price was that bad. I will say if you go to Starbucks, I believe they're Nespresso Original Line compatible um, pods in the grocery store are about $9.99. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. But when you take a look at that, some of the Nespresso pods that you buy in the store are even less expensive. So like I know like Capriccio and some of the other like non like exclusive pods from Nespresso in the original line are like $8.99 a sleeve for 10 of them. So when you think about it like that, getting 10 pods from Starbucks from the grocery store for $9.99 is kind of a lot to pay, at least, I mean, a dollar more, but still a little bit more to pay than getting like a few pods at a time and, and paying for free shipping from Nespresso when you look at it like that. Um, these pods, when I bought them from the actual cafe, were $9.99, okay? So right there at Starbucks for a sleeve of 10. However, if you go on their website and order a sleeve um, at a time or even go on Amazon, they are going to be cheaper in, especially on Amazon in bulk. If you buy six boxes, it's going to be about $40, $44, at least to me and like my address. If you're going to get it from Compass, it's about the same. However, if you buy a sleeve of 10 from Compass, it's only $7.99. So with that being said, it's on par with like, some of the Pete's Coffee pods in the grocery store, the uh, Target brand uh, pods. I don't know about Williams and Sonoma. I know they do Nespresso compatible pods, but overall, I don't. When you're when you're getting it from the actual Compass website, I think the price is definitely not that bad, especially for the quality that you're getting. Alongside the pod and the taste, I do generally think that the packaging of Compass Coffee is a little bit cuter, a little bit more stylish than the average third party pod. Like for example, they have those cute little ripples in it. It's just, it's very high quality packaging. Um, and these are still recyclable. And I feel like the coffee doesn't leak out at all. I know that was something that I complained about a little bit. Um, and some of you guys even mentioned in the comments about some of the other third party pods, like maybe even Vespresso and such. It's just the coffee grounds. I don't know what happens in the process of packaging them and then shipping them out but sometimes the, the coffee grounds get loose from the pod. And I didn't experience that whatsoever at all with these pods. I think the quality of their packaging is great. I think it's very stylish. It's still recyclable. And some of the other things that I enjoy about Compass Coffee is that they are ethically sourced. Again, you can recycle the pods. They're also, you know, uh, American made, I guess, if that's important to you guys. Uh, they are founded by a couple of Marines. So, you know, I'm sure that they give military discounts and such like that for some of their products if you choose to buy them in the stores. But yeah, I think that this is a great quality pod. I would probably buy at least this one again, their emblem pod. And I don't think you can go wrong with this brand. So yeah, that is my review of Compass Coffee. I thoroughly enjoyed sharing this review with you guys. And I really, really hope that you enjoyed taste testing along with me. If you guys have any questions about these pods, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. I will also link any of the pods in bulk anyway um, that I taste tested here on my Amazon storefront and I'll link them directly to the Compass store uh, down below in the description. And if you haven't already done so, please like this video and subscribe to the channel, okay? Thank you guys so much and see you guys on the flip side, bye.